Yeah, that's right. It's safe to say that if you come across a Super NES game that's based on any kind of movie or TV show, it's almost a guarantee it will suck. I know the angry video game nerd has made a running gag out of this over the years, but it's true. Whether it's Terminator 2, Lawnmower Man, Last Action Hero, Bram Stoker's Dracula, Cutthroat Island, Home Alone, or Home Alone 2, these are all mediocre at best, and that's putting it kindly. And TV shows often had even worse game adaptations. Just look at Home Improvement. Why the hell did this show even have a game? Who would even consider playing this, then or now. Anyway, it's been made clear over and over again that these games are a blatant cash-in, so if you paid real money for these games, the joke was on you. So, getting to the subject of this video, finally, why should anyone feel any different about Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Fighting Edition? I never gave a rat's ass about the Power Rangers in any incarnation. They got popular well after my childhood, and to me it looked hokey and cheesy for the sake of being hokey and cheesy. As a teenager, I said no thanks. But in the meantime, I missed out on one of the better fighting games for the Super Nintendo. It's a perfectly good fighting game for either single or multiplayer, but especially multiplayer where there's eight characters to choose from. Unfortunately, in story mode, you only get two characters, but still, the game is pretty good. The controls resemble Street Fighter. They're smooth and very intuitive. The same kind of deal with the D-pad, where up is jump, and there's varying degrees of punches and kicks, from jab to strong. There's a timing-based bar thing on the bottom that triggers the strength of your attack, and there's crazy-ass super combos that are pretty hard to pull off because there's so much timing involved, but if you do, they're really freaking cool. The game makes great use of the art style here, which makes the special attacks look awesome. Even the little cutscenes are nice looking, and the sound matches the content and the music fits the game. This game is very similar in visuals and content to Gundam Wing Endless Duel for the Super Famicom, but sadly that game never got released in the US. This is its closest match though. Plus, Endless Duel usually goes for between $20 and $30 on eBay, where Power Rangers Fighting Edition goes for as low as 12 bucks. Now, not to slag on anyone, but when I tried to look up other reviews of this game, they were all like 12 or 15 minutes long. I mean, Jesus, do I really need to sit here for that long to tell you about this game? It's pretty straightforward. If you like fighting games, you'll like Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Fighting Edition. The goal of the review here is to say, if you've ignored this game because of the words Power Rangers in the title, I don't blame you because I did the same thing. But in the meantime, you're missing out on a perfectly good fighting game. It's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward, it's to the point. You're just big robots fighting each other. <laughs> Where can you go wrong? It reminds me of the game Cybernator, you know, where you're a robot flying around just destroying stuff. How could you go wrong there? Same here. Just ignore the title, but not the game. So go check it out.